Hey everyone, it's Arthur here from MeetArthur.ca. What you're looking at right here is the Vero S Quick Change Fixture System offered by Shunk. This is a great system. It saves a lot of time, gets you to that single minute exchange of dies, and that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. You can see here we've got a three jaw chuck up across two modules, a nice little vise that's a nice little uh, torque overload system there. Now we've got this little device which hooks up for robotics. I'm going to have links to some of the video samples for these products down below. Um, and then here we can see the bottom. That's the pins there and what they look like. And uh, there's their vacuum system as well, which is another great feature. And again, that means with this system, you'd be able to go from vacuum to chuck to vice back and forth hot jobs are no longer an issue we're talking less than a minute exchange um, and that's what we're going to talk about today it's how to save money how to get your spindle running more which means you can get more done in your day which means you're making more money you're able to quote lower more aggressively serve your customers better and that's the point for discussion today guys and gals Okay, so you might be thinking, okay, Arthur, this is great. It sounds super expensive. Well, sure, is it more expensive than the equipment it takes to put on the table by itself? Well, cost for the system itself, yes. It, there's an initial investment, and we're going to go through the numbers. Don't worry. Um, I just don't want to start there. It's not the important place to start. Um, so yeah, there's a cost for initial equipment. Now, some of these things that initial equipment helps reduce for you though, is the amount of time that your spindle is down. Because if the spindle's not turning, you're not earning. And that's just the facts of a machine shop and manufacturer in today's world. Um, now, I'm gonna be talking in relation to my experience machining with these products. Uh, these can also be used in inspection settings, on CMM tables, and quality labs. There's a lot of applications for this product that you can find a home for in your company, depending how serious you are about getting better, about making more money. You might think everyone wants to make more money, but what are you willing to do to make more money? What are you willing to invest? What are you willing to put forward to reap the benefits, you know, and harvest it later? It's kind of like planting, you know, you invest in all these seeds, you might be unsure what's gonna grow, maybe the pack wasn't labeled, I'm here to help take some of that mystery out, okay? Now, let's talk about the system itself, okay? Um, again, videos below for some exact examples. I'm gonna label them nice and clear so you can just see. Um, that way, it's still linked to all their proper copyrights. I'm not infringing on anyone's rights. I'm just sharing the amazing videos that are already out there, okay? Now, these systems, what it allows you to do is you set it up on your machine table. Uh, in the case of like a VF2 size table from Haas, uh, you're looking at eight modules will cover your whole table um, that's going to let you put rotary up there your trunnions uh, your vices vacuum fixtures chucks uh, you can direct part mount with this really the the uh, options are limitless and it's uh, very simple and quick to do i'm gonna have another video again below here it's literally you just hook up the air whether there's one module or there's, you know, in one case over 200 I saw in an installation, massive table aerospace stuff. It's about all I can say about it. Um, that one airline connection is going to open everything. So you can put down your fixture plates, everything else. There's no fumbling with Allen keys. There's no worrying about perfect alignment. You know, there's other systems that require perfect alignment. So you can slide everything together and then you got to manually tighten it with the Allen key. And those systems work. Uh, the benefit for them is they're cheap, um, really low cost. You know, you might as well be using dowel pins and uh, half 13 threads on a subplate. It's about the same level of uh, retention force and location repeatability. Um, Vero's a step above that, above and beyond. We're talking setups go from being a highly skilled operation where you've got to put your top dollar guy on it to make sure it's done right to you can put any guy you want on that shop with pictures and proper documentation for the setup and now he can slap everything on there doesn't matter how good he is at alignment or anything else repeatability is two tenths 
uh, with your standard pins. It's a half tenth with their specialty ground pins. Setup to setup, you're going to be bang on. Depending on the tolerance you want to hit, we can meet it. I'm going to let that sink in because it's, that's a big thing. You no longer have to have your highest skilled guy doing all your setups. First time, sure, he sets it up. He grabs the coordinates, he gets everything else. Okay, now he pops that in his mo program or he writes it down on a setup sheet. The load angle. So uh, with dowel pins, that kind of thing, you gotta make sure you're perfectly perpendicular to your surface. Everything slides in. You've got a couple tenths worth of clearance, right? You wanna make sure you can get that repeatability. Damage your subplate, you're going to damage your pins. It's going to jam. Not good stuff. Uh, nice thing about the Vero S system is you can put it down to up to a 23 degree angle, slide it in, release the air, it claps, clamps onto the pin. Okay. Now this system is uh, pneumatically actuated, but uses uh, springs and tension for the retention system. So what that means is when you put on the air, it actually forces the springs and the clamps off of the pins. You can switch whatever you want, and then when you disconnect the air, it exerts, you know, 19 kilonewtons worth of force. Uh, they do have a turbo option, which I believe is uh, almost 40 kilonewtons worth of force. Um, I haven't seen an actual instance where you need more than 19 kilonewtons worth of retention force, but they have that option, you know. You want to make sure you've got a good stronghold, it's there for you, okay? This is a game-changing situation. Now... This is a fully automatable system. This can go, and you're gonna see videos below again, about robots loading and unloading fixturing. Uh, now, think about that. You could have a mail or a lathe with a robot loading and unloading chucks or fixtures to a racking or table system that keeps that spindle running. And the operator's there, you know, he changes the parts on the pallets while the robot loads them. Um, that also means a robot could do your setup and changeover. Um, there are ways to program your machine and relate them with your robot so that as it grabs each fixture, it knows what program to queue into your machine. So you could have 10 different product lines running on that same mill with your right application support, say uh, Joey who works at Thomas Skinner with me. Um, and we can get you going on that side of things too. So now are we not only looking at volume manufacturing of single components, we're looking at multiple component manufacturing. These are all great things to think about. I've got numbers here. Okay. Printed sheet. Let me just line it up here for you. Real high tech. Okay. So we've got the cost of the system. Uh, six pins, six covers. You can see the total there. Um, there's additional spots on this spreadsheet to add units. Uh, not in this case, we're not. We've got a total dollar amount. Uh, we've got a total number of setups per day. We've got the uh, labor rate. I've gone with $75 an hour on here for the billable time. Uh, how long this setup is with the shunk system. Now, I've got 10 minutes here. Realistically, and you'll see in the videos below, we're looking at, you know, two minutes or less. Uh, there's a term in lean manufacturing, I'm not sure if you are familiar, but it's called SMED, which is the single minute exchange of dyes. Um, and this is right in there. You know, in a robotic situation, you're looking at 60 seconds or better. With an operator, you're still looking uh, definitely better than three minutes. But we put 10, it's a round number, and we really want to under-promise and over-deliver. Okay, now with that 50 minute savings, two setups a day, that means 100 minutes extra production time on that spindle, on that machine, just with this little investment. 112 days later, you've already paid off the system at this price, okay? Now what does that mean? Uh, that means after that point, you are now saving that money every 112 days. Um, conversely, if you don't make the investment, that means you're just throwing this money away every 112 days. There's possible profits out there that you're not making when you're reluctant to invest. This is a proven global system used around the world. Uh, Shunk has different divisions 
for work holding for robotics. They have engineering departments all around the world. It's a beautiful thing. They are an amazing company to work with. I am proud to have them as a supplier. They've really helped me help my customers. And I'd like you to let me help them help you get you into this system. Check out the videos below, subscribe to my channel, check out my website meetarthur.ca. I want to keep connected, I want to keep bringing you new products, bringing you value to help you save money so we can bring more manufacturing back to North America. So please let me help you.